Hey guys, this is Atco. Haven't put out a video out for probably six months. Just when uh, this virus thing started, it kind of threw me off on doing all the things I used to like to do. No yard sales, no ham fests. So, uh, kind of slowed things down. One of the things it did though, when we were all in kind of a a lock up and all that in our uh, houses and not too much further than it right now because we all got to have masks all the time going out so there's uh, things in the house uh, got more time in the house than we had before we don't go out much and uh, one thing we went down in the basement for myself and looked around to see what I could find and I found an old uh, BB gun. Let's show you this. A, uh, a Daisy BB gun. Now you remember, probably every kid has had a BB gun sometime in your life. And I had this one that we were having a problem. I didn't have any guns in the house and and uh, you know we've got four acres and uh, we got four miniature horses and we started having a, um, a rental uh, a couple of houses down from us have some big dogs that would let their dogs run and they would run into the pasture and they would uh, kind of chase the horses. Now, I never seemed to ever try to hurt the horses, but still, it was scary to the horses, and, and we didn't know what they would ever do eventually with them. And my wife said, uh, I gotta shoot those dogs. I said, well, I don't know if you wanna go shoot these dogs, but uh, let me see if I can get a BB gun. And shoot a few of those that won't hurt the dogs uh, it might uh, hurt them when they they feel the, the pain of being hit but they're not going to kill them so I went to look for this uh, little BB gun at I think I got it at Walmart maybe 25 years ago it's like $18 cheap first time I ever used it out there saw those two dogs going out there so I came out with my BB gun and never got a shot, never got a shot. But I guess the dogs saw me and they got scared and they ran away. And I never had the dogs come back again. And I think what happened is our rental saw me coming out there with a gun. Didn't know whether it was gonna be a BB gun or a uh, 347 um, they just figured I was not gonna shoot those dogs and he came and put those dogs in his property and never had them get back into our property and uh, two or three months ago he left and we've had different people come in but most of our people that either buy or rent in our area they're pretty good keeping their dogs out of their own property. So I never did anything with that thing until now. I was just going through and so oh man that old BB gun. Let me get the thing and I got it out and uh, I don't even know if I could really use this thing. I, like I said I don't think I ever ever shot it. And I, I put these uh, BBs, you know, get a whole like 45, or no, I get like 2,400 of these BBs from a whole package of these, uh, probably a Walmart for 10 bucks. And I put about 10 into this thing, I think it holds about 200. And uh, just gave a shot to see how far does it go? I didn't know how good these things go. I figured they probably don't shoot very well. 
Well, I turned that, maybe took a shot at it, four or five, um, just uh, feet. And uh, bang, right into the target I was looking for. Wow, that was pretty good. Do a little pump to get the power in your your uh, gun. And uh, so I moved it back again to about five yards. And surprisingly enough, it was pretty accurate. I, I would say I would get the BB would get uh, within maybe th three inches from what you're trying to hit. I thought that was pretty good. I moved back again to 10 yards. All of a sudden, the quality went down pretty fast. I don't think you get a whole lot of accuracy once you get more definitely not more than 10 yards but I thought it was pretty cool and if nothing else if I had to have a row with the with the dogs which fortunately we haven't had any but I'm gonna use one of these BB guns okay so played around a little bit I was kind of surprised how well the accurate was for for what it was and I've been watching YouTube about uh, people using uh, just target shooting with a BB gun and I didn't really realize too much about these uh, pellets instead of a BB it's actually a pellet and it's a gun that will shoot a lot stronger than a BB and people use these for target or for hitting a um, little pest small game I thought you know this might be kind of cool I, I looked and saw this one I bought a a Ruger 10 slash 22 um, it's a replica of a actual uh, 22 um, gun instead of a pellet but this is a selling the same thing with a pellet and the gun the the uh, pellet is a little smaller it's a um, the um, caliber is .177. Okay, so you can't really see these too well, but I get a whole package of about 500 of these little pellets for $14. And uh, you can get them cheaper than this too, but it's worth paying the, the expensive ones because they will s a lot more accurate than the cheap ones. Um, so I started using this thing and just for practice and and uh, I've been shooting it in the house where I can go like from one side uh, to the other of my basement and I can get a little little uh, target shooting it there and shoot about uh, about 10 yards and uh, I'll tell you, show you a picture of how far I go my uh, my yards goes from one end to the other of the, the house and uh, I've been doing pretty good hitting especially in the 10 yards and uh, it's a lot of fun my uh, my gun doesn't need a pump that you hear to uh, get the power out of it. It actually runs out of CO2. Um, two of these little 12 gram little tanks. Um, I'll put two of those in the gun, and I can shoot about about 60 shots before. It uses up the stuff and this gives me a um, pretty good power I guess it's uh, uh, feet per seconds it's about like 600 which is not bad you know if it's a regular 22 it probably give you uh, anywhere from 900 to 1200 so it's not going to be as good as an actual um, power one but uh, but 600 is still pretty good and probably I can shoot a good uh, 30 40 yards 
and uh, it's still pretty accurate. For myself, I've been trying more in, uh, in the backyard and I'm doing a little better with 20 yards in there. I can't do anything more playing with it in the house here because I can only go 10. But um, I've had a lot of fun with it. So, uh, what else can I do with this thing? You know, a lot of people use it for, for pest uh, control. Uh, for something like a small game, a .177 caliber will probably kill a, a squirrel or a rabbit. My, my, my wife's got a pretty good size garden and we don't get too much trouble, surprisingly, with uh, rabbits and squirrels coming into our garden. But we do get some. And uh, I'd ask my wife, uh, you want me to knock a couple of those out? And she said no. Um, whenever she has her garden, you know, if you ever have a garden, um, whenever things start coming out, and they're all ripe and everything, and all the thing comes out at one time. and and uh, there's always plenty of produce to give out and <laughs> doesn't bother us too much if a couple of the squirrels and a couple of the rabbits take them as long as uh, they don't go out of control and so far we haven't had any control um, but I've been using this thing it's very nice it has a little magazine I can put 10 uh, pellets in this thing and shoot them uh, one and another if I wanted to um, it's not a one single shot I've had a lot of fun right now I haven't done anything with it except from uh, just uh, just practice for target so that's fun now the only thing I have I really don't have any desire to be a hunter and even the little game, I'm not looking forward to killing these pests if they're not bringing me too much. There's only two pests that I would like to knock out when they do come by. We've had problems with rats, but for now, the, we always get different cats that come in. And these two cats we've had in the barn for eight, nine years. I haven't had a rat in there since I've gotten those. And I have lived here 35 years, and I've had some rats before. So I think these cats have been doing whatever they have to do, and all we do is uh, feed them. And so I don't really have too much trouble with rats. The only other problem I've had in the pasture is um, uh, groundhogs. Now the problem with a groundhog, a groundhog will dig a hole underneath. Overnight, it'll have a, a hole you know, six inches in diameter. The bad problem with these darn things, the animals, the horses will run in their pasture and they don't see those holes and they'll put their foot into the hole and break their leg and then you're done you got to put the horse down. I was talking to our vet about it and he said I'd say I lose probably two horses a year because of groundhog holes. Um, we had some problems a couple years ago and I couldn't get rid of those. I didn't have a gun at that time and uh, we tried to smoke them out. We tried uh, different things and eventually I put some poison in that took care of them. We haven't had any trouble for a couple of years but if I would get them to pop up again I'd like to get the groundhogs. Although the problem with a .177 caliber if you shoot a groundhog unless you get a really good shot and hit it right in the head odds are you're going to wound it because the caliber is just not strong enough not a big enough hole so if I'm going to kill a uh, groundhog I would like to
have the hill, I like to have the hit right away and kill it. I don't want it to be hurt by uh, being wounded. So what I need is a bigger caliber. Most of these pellet guns are, uh, especially the ones that are using uh, CO2, you get them either in .177 caliber or .22 caliber. And so I want to have one so that if I have to go for groundhogs, I want to have one that I could hit a uh, .22 caliber. And I've got one on order. I haven't gotten it yet. It's just going to be a one-shot uh, gun. You have to put a pellet in every time, one shot, and then you got to put another bolt out and get a second one out. It's not like my other magazine for guns. So, uh, but it would, it would be the main reason I'd be going for is for those um, groundhogs if they would show up. So we'll see. Maybe it would. If nothing else, it's just another gun that I'll probably uh, do some shooting and and just some uh, just practice and and just fun. So that's what I've been doing as far as that kind of stuff goes. I've been doing other things too. Uh, so I, I'm sorry I haven't really brought anything of my stuff up for six months, but there haven't been a few things I could talk about. So uh, if anybody's interested in this one, uh, I'll bring a few more uh, coming up in the future. Hope everybody's doing well. So uh, you guys take care. This is Atco, signing off.